Today, I'm going to show you three tips for editing children's portraits in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is going to be great if you are a child photographer or if you just have a child in your life and you've taken pictures of them. We're going to show you three tips on how you can edit those images really quickly. In our first tip, we're going to show you a quick and easy way to add a vignette to a photo. This will bring more attention to the subject. Our next tip, we're going to show you how to add a warming filter. This will bring a little bit more like warmth and life into their skin. And finally, I'm going to show you how to brighten, sharpen, and color their eyes, which is going to draw attention right to your child. All right, guys, we got a great episode. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. Okay, guys, we're hopping into Photoshop, and we've got our first image. It's a really cute portrait, and uh, we're going to do our best using our three tips to bump it up a notch. So the first thing I want to do is add a vignette to this image. And what that's going to do is it's going to add a bright area around our subject here, and it's going to kind of darken the edges. It's really easy to do, and it just kind of draws more attention to your subject. So what I would suggest doing is create a new layer. There we go. And I'm going to use my gradient tool. So you can hit G for your gradient tool, or simply click right here on the gradient tool icon. Now, with your gradient tool, you have your gradient editor right here at the top. So go ahead and click there. And you're going to have a bunch of different gradients that you can choose from. You can choose to go from like blue to yellow to blue and, you know, red to teal. We're going to choose this black to white. Okay, so it's always going to be right there, the black to white gradient. And hit OK. All right. Now, you're also going to want to click on your radial gradient icon. If you click on your linear gradient, we're going to just go from like left to right there. Okay, so let me just undo that. We're going to want to click on our radial gradient just like that. Okay. Now, you have an option to reverse this gradient as well. So let's go ahead and uncheck that. And I'm going to click and drag here where my subject is and just drag out. OK, so you can see we have a dark spot in the middle. And as I drag out, it gets lighter. Now, that's actually the opposite of what we want to do. So let's be sure to hit reverse. Anytime you want to just like flip a gradient, just hit this reverse key right there. You can see it flipped there. And I can click and drag out now. And we got a light area where our subject is and dark around the edges. OK, so now we have our layer ready to go. All we have to do is change our blend mode. So any gradient will do. And you can re redo this gradient. It's not You don't have to get it perfect in this step. So we're going to change our blend mode of the layer from normal down to soft light. And that's just going to change the white into like lightening the portrait and the dark into darkening the portrait. OK, now I'm going to turn this off and on so you guys can get an idea of the effect. And it's probably going to be a little bit too strong. You can see she's like a little bit too light right now. So I'm going to bring the opacity of that layer down until it looks a little bit more natural. Somewhere between 50 and 60% should look good. OK, and now you can redo your gradient. So all you have to do is, again, click and drag out. So if I click and drag out to there, you can see just this area is getting bright. And then all of this is getting dark. And we see a little preview of what my layer looks like here. All right, so what I would recommend doing is click there in the middle of your subject's face and just kind of drag out to the edge of the portrait. There we go. So we've created a bright spot for our subject, and it's a little bit darker around the edges. So let's go ahead and turn that off and on. And you can already see it draws attention right to the subject. OK, so that's our first tip for editing children's portraits is add a vignette. Our next tip is to add a warming filter. This is really easy to do, and it can make a big difference. So we're going to go to Layer. I'm going to go to New Adjustment Layer, and I'm going to go down to Photo Filter. OK, now our photo filter, let's go ahead and hit OK. We have a few different options for our photo filter. Now, if you want to make it look like it's cold outside, you can definitely use like a cooling filter. But when it comes to skin tone, a warming filter is going to really help out. And you can do other colors and things like that, too. Like if I want it to look like violet, and I can change my density there. But again, for skin, I would recommend just going to the very first one here at the top, Warming Filter. There we go. And again, here you can choose how warm you'd like to make it. And I would suggest somewhere right between like 10 and 20% to make it look a little bit more natural. OK, this guy, let's go ahead and lower the opacity of our, of our uh, vignette just a little bit. So our photo filter here, you can see we've just added a warming filter. This is warming filter 85. Here's our color, and here's our density. And I can just turn that off and on. You can see it just brings a little bit more life into the skin tone. OK, so really quick, add a warming filter to your child's portrait. 
Now for our last tip, we're going to be sharpening, brightening, and coloring our subject eyes. So let's go ahead and start off with brightness and contrast. We're going to zoom in there, and I'm going to go to my adjustment layers. We're going to go to layer, down to new adjustment layers, and I'm going to go to brightness slash contrast. Let's hit OK there. I'm going to bring my brightness up a little bit, as well as our contrast. Now, this is visible everywhere right now, so we need to use our layer mask to make sure it's only visible where our subject eyes are. Okay, so here on your layer mask, all we have to do is go to edit and down to fill, and we want to fill this with black. Okay, that's going to make our layer invisible. A black layer mask makes sure that your layer is invisible. A white layer mask will make your layer visible. Now, I'm going to use my brush tool, so let's hit B for the brush tool, and I'm going to paint with white over top of the eyes. So we're just going to paint with white on our layer mask over top of the eyes, okay? And you're going to see that's going to make the brightness and contrast, there we go, that's going to make it show up just over top of the eyes. And if you paint over, let's say you paint too much, not a big deal. Just paint with black, so switch your color to black, and then paint black over the area that you want to hide it. There we go. Okay, so a little bit of brightness and contrast. Now the next thing we're going to do is add a little bit of saturation. So I'm going to go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and over here to vibrance. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and bring my vibrance up and our saturation up a little bit. That's going to add a little bit more blue into those eyes. And then I can just use the same layer mask that I used from brightness contrast in my vibrance layer. So to copy a layer mask from one layer to another one, just hold Alt or Option and click and drag from one to another. You can see I got a double arrows there. There we go. I'll just let go, and now we got the same layer mask on my vibrance layer. Okay, so we can turn this off and on, and let's just zoom in there. Off and on, you can see just adds a little bit more color there. So let's go ahead and zoom out. We can turn both of these off and on. The eyes are just like a little bit more pop. And the last thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and zoom out for this. The last thing we're going to do, we'll create a new layer. I'm going to go to my Sharpen tool, which is right under here. You'll see the Blur, the Sharpen tool, and the Smudge tool. They're all nested together. So we're going to go to our Sharpen tool. Okay, I want to make sure that Sample All Layers and Protect Detail. We want to make sure both of those are checked. Okay, and then I'm just going to paint just a little bit right over top of the eyes, and it's just going to sharpen them. Now, I'll keep in mind here, guys, if I go too much, you can see I'm just kind of like, you can really do a lot of damage to a photo if you just keep going. So make sure to just stop whenever you're done. So let's just undo that. Okay, we'll just paint a little bit more on there. And whenever it looks good, that's when it's time to just stop painting over your subject. So there we can see we just sharpen the eyes, zoom in a little bit so you guys can see that there. There we go. And just sharpening the eyes. Okay, there we go. So we'll just turn all three of those off and back on. All right, guys, well, that's our three tips for editing children's portraits. Let's go ahead and show you the before and after. Here's our before and the after. You can see how simple it is to edit your children's portraits. Just follow these key steps. First, add a vignette to your photo. This is going to add more attention to your subject. In this case, we just used our gradient tool and used a radial gradient to click and drag from your subject's face to the outside of the image, and then change your layer blend mode to soft light. Next, it's time to add a little bit of warmth to your subject's face by using a warming filter. So go to Layer, down to New Adjustment Layer, and over to Photo Filter. Go ahead and use the warming filter, and then you can choose your density to control how much warmth is added to the photo. And to finish the edit, be sure to sharpen, brighten, and add a little bit more color to the eyes. This is really going to help draw attention to your subject's face. We used a brightness slash contrast adjustment layer, as well as a vibrance layer, and just used the layer mask to make them only visible over the subject's eyes. Then I created a new layer, grabbed my sharpen tool, make sure to sample all layers and protect detail were checked, and then painted right over the eyes until they're perfectly sharpened. All right, guys, that's all there is to it. Three simple techniques on editing children's portraits here in Photoshop. If you love Photoshop as much as I do, go ahead and click on your screen right about now. We'll send you free tutorials every single week. And if you have a question about today's episode, go ahead and leave it in a comment right down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone. Hop in. We're going to hop on in. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
Who's the best? Who's the best? Who's the best in this room at teaching Photoshop? <laughs> I hope it's me. If it's not, I'm out of a job.